all right welcome back in the last video we got started with azure front door uh, we understood what front door is and how it can be effective when it comes to scalability and availability of your application this uh, video is going to be about more into hands-on and how you can get started with azure front door and get uh, front door in action uh, there are multiple ways of creating front door one of the way is you could use uh, azure portal manually using the gui that's what we're going to do in this video and then there are other means of automation also to create front door like PowerShell, ARM templates or Terraform. Uh, so in this video, we're going to get started with front door and see how uh, uh, our application kind of uh, uh, routes, uh, request gets routed to one of the application. Uh, so what we have is already we've got two front, uh, not front door, but web application, app services. Uh, these two are uh, running into different region. One is in North Europe. Uh, and uh, it's an app one and that's the distinguisher and another is running into East Asia and that's uh, the app two uh, again that's the identifier what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating Azure front door with two of these instances uh, and these uh, run different uh, region we're gonna create uh, the front door um, I hope you already aware how to get started with Azure web app by now if you haven't reach out to the first and second module um, so without further delay let's get started so I'm gonna type in Azure front door click on it and we haven't got any front door at the moment so I'm gonna create a front door to direct our user traffic based on lowest latency between the two web app servers we have already in place I'm going to create a new front door Azure front door RG hit on OK location going to be East US next uh, the first thing is uh, the front end and domains you can use a globally unique host name which you would be used to route your request from um, it's going to come up with the suffix as azure front dot net how you could use a c name and have a custom domain name as well so i'm going to give as azure code red front door that's going to be the identifier and i'm going to click on add that's going to be the host name of your front door and behind this we're going to have a backend pools now backend pool is going to be two of our web app services which we have already created coded back in pool now if you click on back in pool you could see list of services you've got app services storage cloud services uh, you could add public IP address traffic manager so it has to be a, a publicly lookable name like the app services or an IP address or application gateway so in our case it's going to be an app service uh, I'm going to select two of my app service And I'm going to select the port. Uh, the port going to be 80, uh, and uh, the HTTPS port going to be obviously 443. Weight going to be 50 percent to this particular app service, and the next one going to be used as 50 percent again. App services, second one, again the same port, same HTTPS port. Priority going to be uh, one, and uh, weight's going to be 50. So we've got the two backend host name. We could add uh, multiple host name, and we've got one and two. Both have uh, got the weight. So half, half, fifty percent of the request can go to this, and fifty percent could go to that particular. And then you've got health probe as well. Um, we're gonna keep it by default, and you could use a probe method as head, as or get. And I'm going to click on add and routing rules for the sake of the uh, starting video. And we're going to keep it really simple. Azure front door uh, accepted protocol going to be HTTPS and HTTP. And path's going to be the slash star, which is going to be the basic one. Click on add and then just review plus create. It's going to review the request uh, and it's going to start creating for us. 
So you must ensure that each of the front door host is uh, in your front door has a routing rule with a default path which is slash star associated with it. That is across all the which means across all of your routing rules there must be at least one routing rule for each of your front door defined at the defined path. So we're going to give it a few seconds. It's still in progress and will take a few minutes to deploy across all of the pop location globally. All right, so our front door is now created, is in the action state now and it's enabled. Um, if you go to the front door page, you would see that it has got a designer layout which has got all the three options which we have configured, the domain which we're going to use to look up our websites or web application, whatever it is. And then we've got the backend pools and I need the backend pools. We've got the two app services. And then we've got the routing rules, which is pretty much default and out of box at the moment. We can use application firewall and routing rules engine as well. At the moment, we haven't got any. If you want, we could use and and in upcoming videos, we're going to use some of the rules which we could use uh, for as a filter purpose. So I'm going to go to the overview and I'm going to go to the front door and you would see that it takes me to the nearest location, which is the Asia. Uh, and uh, the app 2 is the one which I get the response if I hit refresh it takes me to the app 2 and sometimes it takes me to the app 1 it's a round robin mechanism um, just a fun part if you go to the app services and probably stop one of my app that's the East Asia app it should only take me to the app one uh, because it knows that the second one is not healthy uh, and it takes all the requests, routes all the requests to the app one. And when we start again, it should start getting back the request again to the app two. That's it for now. Uh, we're going to come up with some of the more automation, how you could use uh, uh, Terraform to automate your creation of your uh, front door and few of the routing rules technique as well which you could use on your uh, environment as well. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in a while. Thank you.